Final exams usually consist of papers and tests, but this chemistry class is doing finals differently through an escape room. I wanted students to focus not just on going to lab and then checking the box and leaving and forgetting everything they learned. Instead, I wanted them to, at the end of every lab, say, what did I learn? Why did I learn it? What skills did I take away? And so what I did was I made all of the labs that are before this escape game, they all teach them some fundamental skill that's really important for when they get into the job, into the workforce. So at the end of everything, they're asking the question, what might matter for the escape game, um, which is really what matters for the workforce. <laughs> The class is given three weeks to complete the series of problems that will lead them to the escape room, where they will catch the person who apparently contaminated the chocolate syrup, otherwise known as the copper culprit. The best part is the whole chemistry department is in on it. The perpetrator is straight ahead. So what'd y'all learn? <sighs> we learned a lot. Okay. A lot. Titrations, what type of titrations to use for which scenarios? How to use EDATA and when to use EDTA appropriately. And AA, because we messed it up. We got a lot of practice with AA. How viscous it needs to be. Yeah. All right, let me see what I got. All right, you guys have officially escaped porn. Yay! <laughs> and so I can't even escape a regular escape room. So <laughs> Although the process was lengthy, the students say that this experience has left a lasting impression. So I think it's a lot more beneficial. And this is like the most fun lab class I've ever had. And I've been at Austin P. This is my fourth year, so. Ariel Chambers says that this event has inspired her team to use their knowledge in a real escape room. We actually think this summer we'll go to an actual an escape room and do it all four together, just like we did it in the chemistry lab, but do an actual one. With Clarksville Now, I'm Angela Peterson.